guys! This week I'm going to show you how to make this cute scarecrow balloon. What you need for this one is two lime green 260s, one orange 260, um, a couple, like two or three 160 blush, two goldenrod 160s, and one red 260. Oh, and a six inch quick blink blush. And let's get started. To start with, we're gonna use two lime green 260s with five finger tails. Let a nice puff of air out of your balloon before you tie it. What you wanna do is start with two little cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist it. So twist off a bubble, it's a little, it's about the width of two fingers. Twist it around and then pull this up tight and pinch twist it. So hold, hold this knot up like this, turn this around. And then make another cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist it. And to do that, I'm just holding this one flat against this one, pull this up and turn it. So you have this. And now you're gonna do the same exact thing on the second 260, which I already started. And then measure up eight fingers right up above this pinch twist. Lay eight fingers down and go right up above here and twist it off. Hold on to it and make another little one inch bubble, round cherry tomato sized bubble and we're gonna pinch twist that. Just fold this down, pick this up and turn it. Right like that. And now, we're gonna measure three fingers across. So you have two of these, just like this. Uh, measure three fingers across, twist it off, pick this up, hold it right here. Pick up your other 260 lime green one and see the one where there's only one pinch twist? Twist it in. Just kinda hold it all together and turn it in. Take the longer of the 260s, uh, the one that's longer, and we're gonna flip that back across his hips. Holding all three of these together, you just kinda kinda turn this in and flip it around. Leave these sticking up in the air for the bib overalls, or the suspenders, and pick up your orange one, your orange 260 now, and we want about a five finger tail or a six finger tail, maybe a six finger tail on this one. And let a nice puff of air out of it. Now to start with on this one, we wanna do two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them, the same that you did on the pants. It's a little bit bigger than one finger. Hold it here again, stretch this knot the whole way up, pull it tight and turn it. Do that again. A little cherry tomato sized bubble. Pinch twist it by holding this pinch twist to the long balloon. Pull this up and turn it. So you have this. Now measure four fingers up and twist it off. And now another cherry tomato sized bubble. Pinch twist that. To pinch twist it, hold this down to here. Pull this up and turn it. Now measure a little cherry tomato sized bubble, but don't pinch twist it. Do that again. And pinch twist the second one. And then make another one and pinch twist that. Hold this down, pick it up, and turn it. So we have two of these on the top. We're gonna make the body bubble. For that, that's five fingers. So put five fingers here, go down in front of that one, twist off a bubble, bend it back up, and twist it in right under these two pitch twists, and, and flip it around so you have this. And now make another little cherry tomato sized bubble, and another cherry tomato sized bubble, and pinch twist the second one. Now measure four fingers down, and twist off right above that and make two little cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them. You should be right up to the end of your balloon now and have this and this is gonna get cut and tied off 
to do that, see how full of air it is? You wanna just kinda of squeeze the air up so there's a little uninflated end. Cut that off and leak the air out. And then pull this up and knot it. And then just wrap it around. Like this. And now what you wanna do is pick up your suspenders, sit this in here, and loop this right around the shoulders. Just loop it around so it sits nicely in the middle, and twist it around one of the hip pinch twists. Like this. And do the same thing on the other side. For the suspenders, just wrap it up around, down to the other side, and twist it around. So you have these two ends sticking out like this, and then you just want to cut and tie those off. To do that, cut that uninflated end, let the air out, tie it close to the pinch twist, wrap it around, and cut, up, cut off above the knot. And you can tuck in the ugly end. Do the same thing over here. Now what we want to do is put the head on. Take your six inch blush click quick link and wrap this around the little neck pinch twist. The two orange pinch twists in the middle of the suspenders. Just kind of hold it in there and wrap it around. Now let's give him a hat. And to do that, pick up your red 260 with a five finger tail. Let a nice puff of air out of it. Put two cherry tomato sized bubbles in it and pinch twist them just like you did on the pants and the cuffs. Wrap it around this, pull this tight, wrap it around. Go up two fingers, and then go across three fingers, and then go back down two fingers and just wrap it in on the top of the head. Now we're gonna make two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist the second one. And if this is getting full, just squeeze it up, squeeze it out. Pinch twist the second one so you have a little bubble here and then a pinch twisted bubble right there. Wrap this around the cat part, are you here? And twist it into this right here. And then squeeze this here and here to fill this out. Stretch it a little bit. Go the whole way up to the end, make a little tiny micro bubble, and wrap it around this pinch twist in the back of the hat. So you have this weird looking thing. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up over top of the hat and just position it down a little bit in front of the head. like this. And there's his little hat. We can fix that in a minute, but we're gonna put on the hair now. To put on the hair, pick up your goldenrod 160 and make a little tiny bubble, one finger bubble, and pinch twist it. Hold it here and here, pull that real tight, turn it around, and then make four loops. Go around about two or three fingers. One, two, three, Four. and then measure three fingers up like this and wrap it around the very top of the head to the other side. It's okay if the hat pops off. We'll fix it in a second. Three more fingers from where you twisted it around the top of the head. Make a bubble and then another little tiny bubble and pinch twist that. Turn it around really good so it doesn't come undone. Cut this knot off up here. Tie it around this pinch twist. Two times, and remember if I'm going too fast, just rewind and um, pause it for a second. So here is this pinch twist, and then take four loops on another goldenrod 260 around two or three fingers, it doesn't really matter, and twist it. Now we wanna fix everything. So I, I'll just push my little hair thingies out to the sides 
and then fix the hat, pull that down over, and I like to kind of position it sloping down because I think it looks cute that way. Let me show you the other one. Okay, and now let's put on his hands and his feet. For his feet, just take your 160 and make like four or five loops and make a couple of them longer and then wrap it around the pant cuffs at the bottom. And do the same thing with another foot. I think the shorter one should go up higher and then the longer one should kind of stick down. Do the same thing with another 160 blush and just kind of wrap it around and then point down the, the longer one like this. And then take your little hands and take three loops on each one and wrap those around the cuffs. Uh, you can get um, two hands, three loops out of one blush one Wrap them around and you have this. You can fix this out in the front if you want. Right like this. And or however you like the feet. And then we're gonna put the face on. And fix the feet to where you like them. And get yourself whatever color you want the nose. Blue, red, it doesn't matter. It could be any color. You want to put a triangle on right here in the center of his face. And then for his eyes, I'm gonna make two ovals right on each side of the up above this triangle. Kind of close to the nose, but on each side. And then also outline that orange triangle that you made for the nose. It just helps it stand out a little bit. And then two ovals in the bottom, um, two big black ovals in the bottom of those circles. And then two eyebrows and then two little curves. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Two little curves and then we're going to just kind of dip that down for a nice smile. And then maybe another dip down right underneath his curved smile. And you can fill that in or you can give him a little tongue and fill in around it, whatever you like. And then I like to add little stripes on his shirt and little patches. It looks kind of cute. So I'm going to take my dark green Sharpie marker and I'm going to draw little stripes down his shirt. This kind of helps it stand out like this. And then and give him some orange maybe patches or red. Just like little tic-tac-toe things. Make some look kind of cute. Right, like this. And then you also, if you want to, you don't have to, but it's an idea. You can take some 260 blush scraps or even 160 blush scraps. I don't know how much, you know, it depends on how much time you have, but you can just like kind of tuck some in you know sticking out of his neck you can tuck them all around um, his hands and his neck and his feet if you want and this is what he looks like with those little scrap pieces hanging out it just kind of gives him a little bit more character and adds to it and this is a little scarecrow for you guys I hope you liked it and happy twisting until next week guys